Hello, nine-year-old boy. My name is Game Rage, and today we have a little video uh, how to win at domination. And it's a pretty interesting video, so I'm just going to explain the class setup and some of the strategies that I use to win at domination. And as you can tell, um, before the game actually starts getting interesting, we are double capped and we don't have double digits yet. Well, we just got double digits, but let's get into the class setup. The class setup that I prefer to use is a silenced assault rifle, but with some kind of sight on it. Because um, you're going to be picking people off at long ranges to protect your objectives, but you don't want them to know exactly where you are. Um, and then as a secondary, I have a striker. I will explain that later. And first perk you are going to want, let me go under the class, you are going to want scavenger, preferably pro, but you don't have to have it pro. You're going to need scavenger because you're going to need to pick up that ammo if you're going to be protecting those objectives because uh, you're going to, trust me, you're going to need those extra mags. Overkill. And here's why you need overkill. I personally have the striker as a secondary because they recently patched the FMG 9s and what I use the FMG 9s for personally is to when an enemy is capping an objective I need to get in there with a gun that could totally destroy everybody in there and so the striker has high fire rate and it has high damage so I picked that for my weapon of choice as secondary you don't have to have overkill if you have a personal weapon that you can use to um, just annihilate everything. It most likely need to be a machine pistol though. <coughs> and dead silence. Let me explain dead silence. Dead silence because one, you don't want people to hear uh, you sneaking up on them, and two, um, dead silence pro is no falling damage. So example, so if someone's capping A on mission and you need to jump off that hill and you don't need to lose any extra damage, that comes in handy so you can completely um, just tear out the objective. Um, kill streaks, I prefer assault with predator missile, precision airstrike, and reaper. Um, I use precision airstrike because I don't actually use my precision airstrike until I see someone capping an objective or if a teammate is capping an objective I'll put the airstrike over that so um, or over the main entrance way to that objective so it'll be completely covered by airstrike fire so it would give my teammates covering basically cover so they wouldn't be able to kill the teammate that's sitting on the objective um, <sighs> lethal grenades I prefer Semtex um, but it's pretty much up to you C4 would be best because if you see a couple guys down there and you're gonna need a big explosive to go down there and destroy them um, trophy system is a good one trophy system or tactical insertion trophy system obviously when you're going to cap that objective you need something to protect you from the enemy explosives coming your way and tactical insertion if you have a good lookout point over one of the objectives you're gonna wanna make sure that you can get back there again if the enemies are spawning near you and uh, so basically the the kill streaks are basically the, what's mostly important here predator missile precision and reaper reaper is a great kill streak to um, to clear out objectives you know just blow everything up around them make sure nobody's you can track where they are unless they have blind eye tell them where they're going if they're going near an objective you can stop them from going to that objective precision airstrike you can cover your teammates or even if someone's if you're about to lose an objective call the airstrike over that and completely just annihilate the entire objective and predator missile is just an easy kill streak to get up to that you can lead into your other kill streaks but normally your precision airstrike does not lead into your reaper so if you are not a particularly good player you might want to have an area locked down to where you can get a couple kills after your precision airstrike because if my calculations are correct it would take you about four kills with your precision airstrike if you got one kill with your predator to lead up to your reaper so you're gonna have to improvise and actually have a little bit of skill to get that final kill streak but that is pretty much as always 
Um, my weapon of choice or the primary is an M4 red dot and silencer. I feel it gets the job done and uh, I would pick it over the ACR but an interesting thing about the ACR it seems like that the ACR's red dot sight is smaller than the M4's red dot sight. Maybe it's just me, a personal flaw that I have with this game but I prefer the M4. It doesn't have much recoil but it does, does do pretty good damage and you unlock it right away so if you're just jumping into those domination games as a just prestiged then uh, it's a pretty easy gun to get used to get in there and get the job done obviously <coughs> <coughs> does have a bit of recoil though without the kick but the red dot is pretty easy to control you don't necessarily need to shoot it in bursts all the time so and silencer is absolutely necessary because you do not want to know where those guys know where you are. Another good um, tactical grenade is the portable radar. If you put it near an objective and you are focusing on another objective, it will tell you if someone's on near the objective. So you can put it in a pathway that leads up to an objective and you can call out to your teammate saying, hey, look, um, there's a hallway over by B and there's about four guys on the way over there. I see them on my portable radar. Obviously, Assassin is pretty abundant in this game and uh, overused, I would say. So, you know, you're not always gonna see them. But, uh, I would say about seven times out of ten, you'll see the guys come in that direction and you can take them out. Epic Fail Predator Missile and see that was bad but they were since we triple capped them over here I was able to pick somebody off coming from that fence area with the precision they had our uh, radar jam so I couldn't really do anything at the moment they were capping me but luckily the teammate had a reaper in the air so we could take out the enemies on B that's also a good example <coughs> of the reaper being good for domination AC-130 is also good but that takes a little more amount of kills I feel the reaper is just as efficient if not more efficient and here I call in the um, precision airstrike and they were not actually on B but there was one guy on his way to B and I stopped him from going there and then um, I go down here and I end up taking out one guy with my striker I, I felt that my M4, I felt that the, the area I was going to be in was going to be a little too clunky for the M4, so I just decided to take it out. I ended up getting lucky being able to get my Reaper, but I die as soon after, and I let my teammate's Reaper go away so he can get all his kills and make sure nobody does that. The only difference between the Reaper and the AC-130 is that the AC-130 you know, you could shoot one bullet and then focus on another area really quick with another gun on the thing. Holy crap, that scared me when that happened, that headshot guy. But here, I get my Reaper. There's like a quad right there, but I totally ignore it. And I guarantee if you use some of these strategies, I guarantee that you will win. Now, you know, you can't be like, oh, I didn't win using these strategies and the only thing you copied was the same w the the some gun with the same attachments and you know the same kill streak loadout and you ended up going like 1 and 21 well that's not my fault you have to use the strategies that i feel are appropriate for domination game so i hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video a little how to win domination uh i'll see you guys later